in the heart of a bustling kingdom named Elderia. There lived a skilled and humble weaver named Lena. Her hands moved like poetry, transforming threads into exquisite fabrics that were sought after by people from all walks of life. Lena's reputation spread far and wide, not only for her remarkable skills but also for her impeccable sense of fairness. Elderia was known for its just and wise king, King Cedric. His court was revered for delivering judgments that were impartial and fair. Yet, even in a kingdom governed by justice, there were those who sought to bend the rules for their own gain. One day, a merchant named Barnabas arrived in Elderia with a peculiar request he had commissioned Lena to craft the most stunning tapestry the kingdom had ever seen. It was to be a masterpiece that would adorn the grand hall of his mansion, displaying his wealth and status. In return, he promised a fortune to Lena. As Lena embarked on the ambitious project, she poured her heart and soul into every stitch. The tapestry began to take shape, showcasing scenes of Elderia's natural beauty, the harmony among its people, and the wisdom of King Cedric's rule. Lena's tapestry was not just a piece of art. It was a reflection of the kingdom's soul. Upon its completion, Lena presented the tapestry to Barnabas with pride. However, his eyes gleamed with greed rather than admiration. He inspected it closely, searching for any flaws, no matter how minor, to use as an excuse to reduce Lena's payment. You see, dear weaver, Barnabas sneered. This corner here, it's not as vibrant as the rest, I cannot pay you the promised amount for such imperfection. Lena's heart sank. She knew the corner Barnabas pointed to was intentionally woven that way to balance the composition. She had put her soul into the tapestry, ensuring every part had purpose and meaning. But Barnabas was relentless, and despite Lena's attempts to reason, he left with the tapestry and paid her a fraction of the agreed-upon sum. Lena was left not only with a sense of injustice but also a burning determination to restore. Fairness. She approached the court of King Cedric, carrying her tale of woe. The court listened attentively, and after hearing both sides, King Cedric summoned Barnabas to appear before him. In the court, Barnabas arrogantly presented the tapestry, pointing out the perceived flaw and using it as his justification for his actions. King Cedric examined the tapestry, his eyes tracing every thread, every color, and every nuance. Finally, he spoke, his voice carrying the weight of wisdom and justice. Indeed, I see the corner you speak of. Barnabas, it is different but not flawed. It represents the harmony in diversity, the acceptance of imperfections, and the balance required for a just kingdom. This tapestry is a tribute to Elderia's essence, and its true value cannot be measured in mere gold. King Cedric turned to Lena and continued. As for you, Lena, your dedication to the craft and your commitment to justice have not gone unnoticed. Barnabas. You shall pay Lena the full sum you promised. For the true flower lies not in the tapestry, but in your lack of integrity. With that, justice was served. Barnabas begrudgingly paid Lena the rightful amount and left the court. Defeated, Lena's spirit was uplifted, not only by the fair judgment but by the validation of her artistry and values. Word of the court's decision spread throughout the kingdom. Reinforcing the belief in justice and fairness, Lena's tapestry remained in the grand hall of the palace, a constant reminder of the importance of upholding the principles of justice, even when faced with the most intricate threads of deceit. And so, the weaver Lena became not only the weaver of threads but also the weaver of justice. Her actions echoing through time is a testament to the enduring power of fairness and integrity.